Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let's see how to show that if uh, two functions f maps a to b and g maps b to c are bijective functions, then we have to prove that g circle f maps a to c is also a bijective function. I'll be explaining in a step by step manner. I'll explain this theorem. So stay with me until then. Okay. Now let's see what are, what are, what are we given. Here we are given that f maps a to b and g maps b to c are bijective functions. Okay. Next, what we need to prove? We need to show that g circle f maps a to c is also a bijective function. Okay. Now, now what what is basically a bijective function? Bijective function means that if a function is an injective function as well as a surjective function, then we say that it is a bijective function. Okay, so that's why to show that G circle F maps A to C is a bijective function, I need to show that it is an injective function as well as a surjective function. Okay, fine. Now, and the vice versa is true. Okay, if some if a if a given function is bijective function, then it is naturally an injective function and also a surjective function. Okay, so that's that's what I'm gonna use now. Here we are given that f maps a to b and g maps b to c are bijective functions. Since f maps a to b and g maps b to c are bijective functions, they are injective functions, right? And there are surjective functions also. That condition I'm going to use it as latest. Okay. Now, next. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take two elements. Let a1 comma a2 belongs to a. Now, since f maps a to b is a function, it's a function. f of a1 comma f of a2 belongs to b, right? See, these are uh, elements. Their images will naturally belong to codomain. This, this is what we have, right? So that's why B is my codomain. So that's why f of a1 comma f of a2 belongs to B. Now, after this, you'll see that, see, since G maps B to C, okay? Now, what I showed that f of a1 and f of a2 belongs to B, that means these are input for G. These are input for G, okay? Now, if these are input for G, what I'd get? If these are input for G, what I'd get? Now, since G maps B to C is a function, G of F of A1 and G of F of A2 belongs to C. Okay. G of F of A1 and G of F of A2 belongs to C. That is, that is G circle F of A1 comma G circle F of A2 belongs to C. This I can write it as G of F of A1. I can write it as G circle F of A2. Fine. Let's go ahead. Now, consider, consider G circle F of A1 is equal to G circle F of A2. Let's take this situation. Now, this again, I can write it as G of F of A1 is equal to G of F of A2. Now, now I know that G, G is an injective function. Okay, G maps B to C as an inject, injective function. Now, what does an inject, uh, injective function mean? Okay, It basically means that for every element, there is a unique image. For every element, there is a unique image. That means for every image, there is a unique element also. There is a unique element for every image, uh, like for every image, it must have a unique element in the domain, right? So that's why, that's why, if this is the case, if the images are same, if the images are same, that means the elements also need to be same. Therefore, f of a1 has to be equals to f of a2. Why? Since g maps b to c is an injective function. Next. Now, again, if you'll see f of a1 is equal to f of a2, again, uh, the images are same, okay? f of a1 and f of a2 are the two images are same. So the elements A1 and A2 also have to be same. Why? Because F maps A to B is an injective function. Okay. So what I got, if I started with G circle F of A1 is equal to G circle F of A2, what I got is, what I got is A1 is equal to A2. Hence, since I got this condition, this basically means that G circle F maps A to C is a injective function. Okay. We are done with the part one of our proof. Now we, now let's proceed to the part two. In part two, I need to show that G circle F maps A to C is a surjective function. For that, I'm going to use a given condition. Now, since F maps A to B and G maps B to C are bijective functions, they are surjective functions also, right? I mentioned if it if a function is a bijective function, then it is naturally an injective function and a surjective function. Injective function condition I used it in the beginning. Now I'm gonna use the condition of surjective function. Now, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an element C. Let there be an element C which belongs to capital C. Now, since G maps B to C is a surjective function, there exists B belongs to B such that G of B is equal to C. There exists B belongs to B such that G of B is equal to C. And this I'm going to mark it as my one. 
Now, what is the surjective function? To put it in simple words, okay, for every element in code domain, okay, there exists an image. There exists an I, I mean there an image in the sense that there exists an element in the domain. Okay, so that's what uh, it means uh, to be a surjection. Fine. Now next. That's why I got there. Uh, that's why there must exist a B belongs to B such that G of B is equal to C. Like G maps B to C, so G of B is equal to C. You can remember it like that. In case if you are finding it difficult to understand. Next. Now, since F maps A to B is a subjective function, F maps A to B is also a subjective function. I wrote here, wrote here. F and G both are bijective functions, so they are subjective functions. Now, since F maps A to B is a subjective function, for B belongs to B, there must exist an A such that F of A is equal to B, right? Because it is also a subjective function. For uh, each element in the code domain, there must exist an image in the domain because it is a subjective function. That's what its definition is. So therefore, f of a is equal to b. Now, from one, from one, g of b is equal to c. Now, in place of b, what I can write f of a? You see, from uh, here you can see the second condition. So in place of b, I'm gonna keep it as f of a. So basically, g of f of a is equal to c. From two, I mentioned the reason why I have, uh, from where I got it. Now, this I can write as g circle f of a is equal to c. Now, now, so what does this mean? G circle f of a is equal to c means what? For C belongs to C, there exists an A belongs to A such that G circle F of A is equal to C. Now, what does this mean? For, for an element in the codomain, for an element in the codomain C, there is an element in the domain A such that G circle F of A is equal to C. So, that's why, that's why G, o, G circle F maps A to C is a subjective function. Like, uh, by this I could prove that, you know, I, I got the condition for a subjective function. So, I am able to conclude that G circle F maps A to C is also a subjective function. All good. Now, since G circle F maps A to C is an injective function and a surjective function, it is also a bijective function. Hence, proof. So, thank you for staying with me until here. Not just this theorem, uh, I'll be making proofs for other theorems as well. You can find the the description for the play uh, link for the playlist in the description okay and if this uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please uh, please subscribe to it once again i'm akash i completed my btech from nit raurkela in the year 2020 currently i'm a mathematics teacher